about time. What's going on? Yeah. Rumor Report. Rumor Report. This is the Rumor Report. Talk to him. With Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Charlamagne, you messed that tease all the way up. What I'm supposed to say? <laughs> I don't know. He was like coming up next. and uh, It is mind. coming up next. Right now. Oh, well, now. Yeah. Now. All right. Tamar Braxton was on with Wendy Williams, and we gave you a teaser about this yesterday, wondering what happened with Tamar Braxton, where she uh, talks about being sexually abused by family members. Well, here's what she had to say on Wendy. A lot of things happened we'll to talk. me in my childhood that I was like too afraid to talk about or too ashamed to talk about. Mm-hmm. But the truth of the matter is that, you know, I, I have been molested by both sides of my family. And um, it's not nothing I ever talked about. And I never thought that I would sit around a table with Ayana, who's here to talk about, you know, me and my sisters and their problems and to bring that up and sex shame me basically in front of everybody. So that's why I got up and walked out. Well, that's interesting. I mean, it's always interesting because I think it's always different for like men and women. Cause like, you know, me getting molested at eight years old by, by a woman, I didn't register to me that it was molestation until later, later, later on in life. Well, a lot of women might feel that way, too, when they're young, too. As a young kid, too, at eight years old, you also might not know. Maybe. And it True. doesn't register for a lot of people until later on. And sometimes they feel like family members could be hurt. They feel like it's their fault, you know. So it is a difficult situation, and I'm sure everyone reacts differently. But Yeah, Tamar, I, yeah I never felt like it was my fault. I just enjoyed it. Yeah, some women, as young girls, you feel like it was your own fault. So it's just, uh, and a lot of times people have mind control over you and you're not sure Mm -hmm. what you're supposed to do if it's a secret. Uh, So Tamar posted, immediately started to cry, not because someone decided to allow someone else to tell my secret, not because I was asked if it were true in front of 100 strangers, but because once again, my right to choose was taken from me all over again. I decided to tell Wendy and the world my secret myself that I had been a victim of abuse, not once, twice, 10, but multiple times by multiple family members. I've never told anyone other than two people in my life and they both have held this close to them yikes yes so she says uh one being the man that i am with now and every single day he says i'm so beautiful and my scars make me even more attractive all right well he's got to work through it thank you to tamar for sharing something so personal and i know it's not easy uh lauren hill what happened on her tour well, somebody tweeted to Santi Gold, and full disclosure, Santi Gold is like one of my best friends. We went to college together, and I actually went to the Lauren Hill tour that she was on a date in Detroit. Was Lauren Hill on time? No. Of course. Now, somebody told Santi, F you and Nas, F you. I paid $250 for tickets for you to not show up a couple of hours before the show. Fans make your living. Remember that. Are you personally issuing refunds? Santi responded, I'm sorry you paid to see us and we're not there. That really bums me out. I'm also bummed that Miss Lauren Hill and crew didn't tell people why we're not there. She took us off the bill. And somebody tweeted her, hey, what happened in Portland? I hope you are not ill. And she said, nope, not sick. So sorry I wasn't able to perform for you all. Note I saw from Miss Lawrence Hill management team read, due to production issues, the Miss Education 20th anniversary tour is unable to accommodate Santi Gold's performance this evening. Well, spill a goddamn tea. Why did Lauren kick off Nas and Santi Gold since Santi Gold is your best friend? Santi Gold. Well, I'm not sure if she knows exactly why, but I do know when we were in Detroit, uh, her being late and then it kind of cut, cuts into everybody else's time. So a lot of times people aren't able to set up their full production because of that. Like she has a screen that she brings out that she has all of her um, effects behind her. Lauren does. No, Santi Santi. does. Okay. But because it's running late and she has to go on later and it cuts into her time because then Lauren takes up some of their time. uh, None of that's able to happen. So they pay all this money for all these other special things that they're supposed to bring out on their show. I'm confused though. Don't Santi and Nas come out before Lauren? Yeah, they come out before her. But they push the whole show back. Oh, got you, got you. So because of that, so it's been some ongoing issues and then some date changes and all of those things. Like they were supposed to be in New Jersey. That show got postponed to a later date. We don't know what that date is. So things were a bit of a mess. But that's whack on the promoter's part. If I was the promoter, I would say Santi Gold, Nas, then a three-hour intermission. And that'll yeah, give Lauren time to get there. And then <laughs> a Lauren. daytime show and then a nighttime show. That's all. That's <laughs> all you got to do. Easy fix. Right. But I think Lauren's very also in charge of how it goes down. So that it's not like the promoter can just do what they want. Mm. Kind of. And I know there's been issues with her being late. And then that cuts into her set time. So audience members are expecting to see like a full Lauren Hill show. But because there's curfews and they charge a lot more money every minute you go over, it ends up just abruptly ending. Y'all really love Lauren Hill. There's no way in hell I'd buy a Lauren Hill ticket. <laughs> Simply because of the rumor, not even a rumor, the, the the historical fact that over the years she's late to a bunch of shows. It's disappointing to the fans. Yes. Was... All right, Frank Ocean and Travis Scott, there's some issues there. Well, according to sources close to uh, 
to Travis, to Frank Ocean, they're saying that the problem is about Carousel, which features Frank Ocean on the Astro World album. Apparently, Frank Ocean is upset because his vocals were changed. They don't know what those changes are, but there's some auto tune. The pitch is higher in the third verse than in the chorus. So, according to Frank Ocean, he basically uh, wants to re- be removed from the track, and Travis Scott has no intentions of doing that. I had no idea Frank Ocean was even on Travis Scott's album. Carousel. I had no idea. So check it out and see if you see there's anything wrong with it. Didn't have a clue. All right, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your Rumor Report.